Hi everyone, welcome to learn the next concept of basic maths that divide any number by 7. So here I will write the random number. Let's suppose we have given the question uh, can the number 121 divide by 7. So here 7 near to the base 10 and near to the base 10 that means here our base number is 10 and if we take the subtraction 10 minus this 7 is 3. So 7 is uh, 3 less than the 10. Now Apply the same regular process of division that we are doing in the previous video. Divide by 8, 9, 99. So here our number I will break in two parts. First is 1, 2 in the left side and this last digit in the right side. As the base number is 10 which is 1 less uh, which is contain 1 0. That's why here one single digit in the right side. First take, first number take as it is and 3 times of that 1 you have to write here. Why 3 times? Because our 7 is 3 less than the 10. So 3 less than that means every addition you have to write the 3 times in the next number. So this 1 you have to add, write as it is and 3 times of this 1 is 3. Add in the next number. So 2 plus this 3 is 5 and 3 times of this 5 add in the next number. So 5 3 times is 15. 3 times is multiply by 3. So it is a 15. 15 plus of 1 is 16. Is it our final answer? No. Because base number contain 10. So here also we need the 10. If it is not, then again break that number and that extra number add in this next uh, quotient part. So 1 you have to add in the right side part. So here take the addition of this number. So here 16 uh, that 6 plus 3 is 9 and this 5 plus 1 is 16 and this 1. Is it final? Still not because our, we are dividing by 7 and 9 is greater than 7. So you can divide this uh, 9 directly by 7. So we know that 7 ones are 7. What will be the remainder? It is a remainder will be 2. So when we divide this 9 by 7, so whatever that quotient that add in the uh, quotient part and remainder in the right part. So this will be the, our remainder and this 1 if we add in this number, so 17 will be our quotient number. This process you can apply here also. Instead of breaking that 16, you can take here our left part is 15 and right side is 16. So 16 div directly divide by, divide this 16 by 7. So 7 twos are 14, 7 twos are 14. So what will be the remainder? 2. So 7 twos are 14. So 16 minus 14 is 2, 2 is the remainder and this quotient part you have to add in this quotient. So 15 plus 2 is 17. So see here, either you can uh, apply the breaking part of the number, otherwise you can directly do this process. And as compared to the original quotient, this is a uh, two digit number. So obviously it is easy to divide by 7. And if our number is very large, still you can apply this process of division so that that number will be reducing stepwise. And after getting the small digit, you can easily divide that number by 7 and find the answer. Now see one more example, clear understanding of this method. Here again I am writing the question randomly. Let's suppose we have given the question 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 1, any number you can take. Suppose this is our uh, question and we want to divide this number by 7. Obviously 7 is 3 less than the 10. So we have to take every addition 3 times. So this question is uh, very lengthy as it contains the 7 digit. So I will write here number 1. 0, 0, 1, 2, 1, 3 and right part is contains single digit remaining all in the left side. So what will be the first step? In the first step, the first number you have to write as it is. So here first step is first number 1 as it is and 3 times of this 1 you have to add in the next number because our 7 is 10 minus 7 gives the answer 3. So base number se wo kitna le se? 3. That's why we have to take the 3 times of the number. Now 0 plus this 3 is 3. 3 times of this 3 is 9. 9 plus this 0 is 9. 3 times of 9 is 27. 27 plus 1 is 28. Now 3 times of this 28. So multiply this number by uh, 3. So it is 24, 2, 6, 
8. Now take the addition 86. 3 times of this 86. So multiply this 86 by 3. 3, 18, 1, 24, 25. So take the addition. So it is a 2, 5, 9. Again, the 3 times of this number add in the next number. So 3 times of this number. So it is a 7, 2, uh, 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. 1, 6, 6 plus 1, 17. Take the addition. So here it gives the answer 7, 8, 0. Now break this number in two parts. So here 78 you have to add in this number and three times of 70 add in the 0. Otherwise as compared to this large number this number is very simple. So you can directly divide this number by 7 because if we are continuously applying this process it will be looking like a lengthy and difficult. But instead of applying continuously you can directly divide this number by 7 as compared to the, the 7 digit number it is very easy to divide this 3 digit number by 7 so here divide this uh, 780 by 7 so 7 ones are 7 then next again 7 ones are 7 and this uh, 7 ones are 7 so 10 again 7 ones are 7 so remainder will be uh, 3 and quotient is 1 1 3 now add this 113 in the uh, quotient part and everywhere we need a single digit. If we, there is more than that number because here every addition we require the single digit as our base number contain 10, 0. So 9 plus this 1 is 10, carry 1. Now this addition, it, uh, it is 5 plus this 2 is 7, 7 and this 2 is 37, 37 add in this next number. Now 6 plus this 7 is 13 carry 1 so 8 plus this 4 is 12 add in the next number so 12 and this 8 is 0 carry 1 so this 4 you have to add in the next number 9 plus this 4 is 13 carry 1 3 plus 1 is 4 and this 1 so that means the quotient for our question is 1 4 3 0 3 0 and remainder is 3 thank you like, share and subscribe.